Welcome back. Just you say, say hello to your new dad. Oh no! Timmy! Why? You're not my dad. I don't know you. Uh, You're not my dad, Timmy. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, is it the same guy from before? Oh shit! Souls. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to do something here. Holy shit, there's a fucking swarm of them. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Where did all they come from? I'm busy right now! Oh my lord. <laughs> do you wanna, you wanna buy my stuff? Not now! <laughs> if only they fell when you hit them. Yeah, I know. Oh my lord. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I honestly don't think that the Dragon God is too far off from here. I don't remember there being a lot of that more of this area. Then again, I just don't remember. Because I think at some point here, we might hit a dead end and we might have to go somewhere else. Though, I will say, I do think that this is probably the, probably the easiest um, place to go through. Yeah. If I recall correctly. Uh, this whole section, or like this whole lava level is not super hard. It's probably the easiest of all oh. of them. Are you going to blow up? Because Boletaria is harder just because you're shittier. <laughs> not only in player experience, but your character as well. I wrote, I wrote a screenplay for a class a while ago. Um, oh, I remember. I, I read it. And I'm still, like, I mean, I, I, I'm refining it and adding some stuff to it, but I'm not really heavily involved in that right now. I haven't been for a long time. It's kind of something I do on and off over the period of months at a time. Uh, and it's kind of it was kind of just a rip-off or like an amalgamation of a bunch of different things that I was kind of like reading and watching at the time. It's basically... Um, Come on, you I was, flying bitch. I was reading the autobiography of Carrie Brownstein at the time, so it's heavily inspired by that, while also be heavily... Being heavily inspired by Blue's The Warmest Color. Um, it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of like an awakening of sorts, but I didn't really want to play the really simple, like, lesbian mm -hmm. romance card. I wanted that, though. Mm. Um, although that might be a component of it later, I don't know. I feel like that's been overdone, but... Well... You know. Alright. Now I can talk to you. <laughs> Went to make a deal. I was ju I just saved your life, man. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. He sells a lot of shards. I think buying some of that moon grass would be good. Yeah. Some of it anyway. I don't know. You can buy however much you want. Forty-seven would be pretty good. Like all of it, honestly. Like as much as it'd be kind of shitty to uh, blow all the soul. Yeah, I mean that's a heavy, heavy stockpile that we would. So have if to I kill, kill him. Will I? If if I kill him, do I get all of my souls back? Is that how it works? No. <laughs> oh, I know you can kill some of those guys, and it's actually a preferred thing to do. Yeah. Because some of them are evil. But they don't go back to the nexus, though, do they? No. Most of them don't. I'm sure some of them do, but he doesn't, as far as I remember. Uh, but yeah, my, my screenplay was kind of like about, um, uh, kind of like about finding oneself, you know? I always think that's kind of an interesting theme of, like, self-discovery, or, you know, like, oh, my nose. discovery in, like, you know, some, some form of, like, about oneself or, like, somebody who's related to them or something. That's why I think, I think, um... Wes Anderson films are like some of my favorites is because some of the themes they kind of touch on a little bit mm -hmm. they're kind of disguised as like these like you know rompy sort of like silly comedy sort of things like really weird but at the, at the I like the core of them I think they get to some pretty like tender topics at times which is why the Darjeeling Limited is probably my favorite because I can kind of relate to that one it's about three brothers trying to get along and then they kind of eventually get past their differences and... And all hate their mother. And they all hate their mother, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that kind of shit is actually kind of present in my own family to a degree, so that's kind of why I resonate... Or that one resonated with me a lot. Yeah. Um, 
And plus, it has the first part, Hotel Chevalier, which is really good too. Mm-hmm. I, I I felt that within those like between the short film and the major like full length film that there was like no line of dialogue that was wasted from any character. Um, I felt that like everything was necessary, oh, which I liked. I liked it. Billy, we should make a movie called Buttfuck Sluts Go Nuts '69. Damn. That is a huge explosion. That guy has no hey, chill. Billy, if you he ever left me nothing, if you ever want to make a, a movie, let me know. I want to help. Okay. I think it'd be fun to make a movie. It's just like I think. Um, I think it would be fun to make a video game. Personally, I have many ideas on it. I'd rather, <clears throat> I'd rather do a, a movie than a video game because a video game requires a lot of programming knowledge, yeah. <laughs> which I don't that, have. That is the problem. Or don't have patience for. Movies are easier to make than video games, I would imagine. And then all the movie people will be like, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm not saying movies are easy to make. They're not. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm just saying it would be oh, oh, oh. it would be Misty. easier to make a movie because in a movie, so long as you have actors and an actual seat, like set or something like that, you don't have to create assets. In a video game, you got to create literally everything, from character models to are you okay? textures I mean, to everything. Do you want to like take a moment? No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just tar- I'm just talking about shit. I don't know. <laughs> You are for me. We're having a, we're having a good conversation about movies and shit. We got to get Andrew WK in our movie. Oh yeah. He would fall through that fucking hole. Yeah. Hey, a dark eater shield. Wow. Is it better? Square. It's, it's got better damage reduction, but it has worse guard break. By how much? Two? Two. I think that's worth it. You get much more damage reduction versus, you know, you get 16 more damage reduction. Or, like, or is that stamina reduction? I think that's stamina or reduction. That's, I think that's worth it. Or no. I think the stamina reduction it's is... It's the right number. It's the right number, right? I think. Um, I think it's guard break reduction. Maybe, I don't know. Can you, uh, they don't have a help thing in this one, do they? Nope. Well, that's, that's a bigger number. Hooray for bigger numbers. I, th- mm-hmm. And the stamina and all of them don't have different, like, symbols, so I really can't tell. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think it's better. And that's all that matters, is what I think. Yeah. I think Breaking Bad sucks. <laughs> and that's all that matters. And that's all that matters. Oh, itchy. <laughs> Stop throwing me, bitch! Whoa, one hit. <laughs> I got really angry. <laughs> These guys Gatorade are molting. Me, bitch. <laughs> fucking <laughs> molting everywhere. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I like that. That's neat. I like how, um... Like, I wish they would do this a little bit more in some of these games, but I do kind of like how some of them, at least, like, creatures like these worms... Fuck you. ...have, like, life cycles, you know? Yeah. I wish that they would kind of expand upon that a little bit more in some of the game, but I mean, I understand why they don't feel the need to, but um, it just kind of shows that they put a little bit more thought into it than, ooh, spooky worms. Ooh, gross. You know, there's like, yeah, these like things that, you know. Ooh, gross. And they're all like made out of rocks, sort of. Yeah. kind of cool. What is this? Is this a bad place to be? Oh, yeah. It's always bad. It's place always to be. Bad, yeah. It's always a bad place. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, you know what? We totally forgot to uh, address this earlier. Um, I can't. I don't know why we forgot to bring it brings up um, in my earlier episode. But my uh, I sent my <sighs> PS3 in for servicing because it wasn't reading discs very well, and I had talked to a support person and said that you know, uh, hopefully it shouldn't. You know, they shouldn't wipe my hard drive when I send it in. And I'm pretty sure they didn't even refurbish the one that I sent in. I think they just gave me a new one. Because uh, I got it back and the hard drive was wiped. So all of our progress we had made on Demon Souls like, was gone. And I had to bitch. I had to replay back up to where we were again. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. 
Okay, I see you don't. We don't have any shurikens or anything. All right. Uh, I think you used all of them, didn't you? What does it matter? It was just it's to small. make him bleed. Eh, just slightly. He'll bleed. He's probably bleeding right now. Nope. Oh, let's keep fucking hitting him. He ain't gonna do shit. Yeah, so it took me about four hours to get back to where we were before. Which I think is pretty quick. I don't know how long it took us before to get to where we were. Eight hours later. It took us a while. It took us a while. But I got us back. No problem. I had to do that with Dragon's Dogma again. Hey, Chubbomongus. <laughs> They're releasing a PS4 version of that game now. Chubbomongus? Next month. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know it was a game. <clears throat> Chub Among Us. <laughs> you can also of... say it weirdly and say, uh, new movie idea, it is a fat man among all skinny people. <laughs> the Chub Among Us. Yeah, Chub Among Us. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like you could come up, if you can come up with a decent screenplay for any of these ideas, people would buy it. Yeah. You think about half the shit that they, like, fucking... Hey, it's produce. original, too. Yeah, but, I mean, it's like, you think about half the shit they produce nowadays, it's fucking shit. Like... Alright, I'm gonna step back. Like, we watched that one movie, The Shallows. I had to keep going. <laughs> Not too bad. Uh, I mean, we didn't watch the whole thing, but it's a fucking chick getting cha chased the by swallows. a shark. The Shallows? The shark. She gets chased by a shark the whole time. That's the whole fucking movie. Wow, this cave sure is shallow. Is that going to break? No. Okay. The floor looks like it would, it would collapse there. Yeah. Because of the coloring. Oh, uh, Chubbamongos. Come on. All right, back to it. These guys suck. We had we had a bunch of uh, movie ideas that we said, I believe, in a, uh, hot shots, hot, no, a Hot Shots Golf episode. I believe simply called Movie Ideas. And they're not even like it's. There's nothing like based around a plot, but just silly, stupid events that would occur in the movie. Like Andrew WK crashing a monster truck into a school, and then running away. <laughs> so do you want to have anything? Use the club. Uh. I just want to poke him. So I don't have to get close. That's not working. That ain't gonna do shit. No, it doesn't. I mean, I don't really feel like you're in any inherent danger. As no, much. It's just, I danger. just wanted to do the quickest way. It looks like the croissant falchion is going to be that. We might have to repair it pretty soon. You should see if we can upgrade it from the one dude, too. Oh, yeah. Because we can do that. <clears throat> Ed Sullivan? Uh, yeah. Yeah, kill this dude and keep exploring for a minute. I know we're nearing the end of the episode, but, you know. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. You're not even threatening. This isn't. I would kill yeah. you in real life. Yeah. This thing is pretty. I don't know. This is. I mean, we're getting into areas I don't remember very well. Though I'll tell you that much. I don't remember this very well at all. Yeah. Just a lot of fucking waiting around. See you, bitch. Run! <clears throat> Sixteen sixty. Those those explosions are pretty cool. Yeah. What's he hiding? Ooh, dead guy. Chunk of clear stone. Looks like Ostrava, sort of. A little bit. Uh, it's not him, but it looked like him kind of. Um. A little one. <laughs> I like how these ones are now the little ones. Yeah. Yeah, because it does thirty damage every time you hit it. Just check out what's behind him. Just fucking run away from him. You need to kill him. Yeah. Nothing. <clears throat> nothing. 
There's nothing even there, so fuck it. Don't even fight him. Just leave. <laughs> Look at the souls. Just leave. Look at the souls, though. Yeah, but you're trapped up against the wall. You should get on the other side of them at the very least. See? If you had fucking... If you killed them, you'd be fucked. <laughs> eh. They didn't even do that much damage. Eh, probably did about three quarters away. Do you think they scale up like how much damage you receive when you're in human form in this game? Because it seems like it like the difference is negligible when you uh, like have full health as opposed to when you don't. Mm, well, this is a pickle. Okay, okay. now it's not. You okay? Go up and swipe him. Swipe, nice. swipe right on him. Nah, no, he's fine. <laughs> he'll be. He'll die. Take him out on a date and then fuck him on the first date. <laughs> <laughs> Never call him again. Never call him again. Seven sixty. This is how they bored all the holes into this fucking place. Is they just blew up slugs. <laughs> the slugs didn't actually do anything. They just mm -hmm. that's yeah. claustrophobic. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, <sighs> not now. <laughs> well, plus, plus it's lava. You can't really do anything in there. Yeah, I could just shoot them in the face. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, you want to pick this up next time on on Chinstrap Jabs? Yeah, sure. All right. Next time on Chinstrap Traps, we get the black lung. <gasps> uh.